Welcome to another episode of the Scripting Them podcast. I'm Fernando, as usual, your host. And today we're going to tackle a topic that in the IT industry is actually very, I don't want to say controversial, but at least it generates a lot of heated conversations. And that is the topic of fundamentals versus framework. And don't get me wrong, this is not just about web development. This is actually uh, applicable to any field within IT industry because uh, as developers, we tend to go that way. We tend to go framework. We tend to create our own frameworks so that next time we have to do anything or someone else has to work on, on something, they have an easier time doing it. Frameworks are tools, uh, if you will, that will abstract a lot of issues, a lot of basic concepts so that we don't have to think about them. They'll usually apply them um, in a certain way. That's usually why some uh, frameworks are opinionated. Um, but by doing so, they just remove that extra time that we have to spend figuring out how to apply them ourselves, essentially. They do a lot of work for us. They're great. Frameworks are a fundamental part of the process of developing software. And this is not about whether using frameworks is right or wrong, but rather if you're getting started with a new technology, which is the right way to go, sort of like that. Is it going through the fundamentals of the technology or jumping straight to a popular framework and learning that? Skipping essentially, um, or let's just say putting all that handling of the fundamentals on top of the framework and just focusing on what you want to build and you know, rather than how you want to build it. Everyone has an opinion about that. Everyone, um, if you've been around for years, you've gone through that process more than once probably. Um, and if you're new, maybe you're going through that process right now, trying to figure out, you know, should I, should I be focusing on the basics? Should I be focusing on the language itself? Or even, you know, going lower than that on the paradigm or should I be focusing on this specific, uh, very fancy framework that everyone's using? Right. So, uh, why would you want to pick a framework other than because they're so useful? I think that the main reason uh, that many also many developers tend to jump straight into the framework uh, wagon, if you will, is that um, Learning a framework makes you more marketable. It's true. Whether you agree with what comes with it or not, that's up to you. But um, usually when you're, when someone is looking for a developer, they have already a tech stack. And if you know the framework, the, if you know the tech stack in general, you're Pre, uh, you're already ahead of the competition, but if they usually will have, they, they will usually have like a framework. Uh, if it's, you know, web developer and they, they're doing a web app, they might be using, I don't know, Next, for example. If you already know Next, you know, you're, uh, even if you're just getting started, you're ahead of those just getting started that are focusing on JavaScript in general, for, for to put an example. Um, is this, is that fair? That's a whole different uh, conversation. But um, the main appeal of frameworks or jumping straight to the framework, that is one, definitely. The fact that um, by learning a framework, you're already more marketable than those who don't know the framework. It's also a lot more fun to learn a new technology through a framework than through fundamentals. Why is that? Because the framework will already give you the tools to create something. Again, if we're talking about web development, you're going to be creating a web app in no time with Next.js. Rather, uh, in comparison, if you go back, if you go all the way through JavaScript, you'll be able to create some stuff. Definitely, definitely at, at first, at first, but um, getting to a point where you're able to create the same type of initial applications that you will be creating through Next, it will take you more time. 
it will take you more time because again, Next as a framework is abstracting a lot of fundamentals that you don't have to think about. Now, um, that's also, if you will, uh, looking at you know the downside of going framework first is that if you're learning a new technology, yeah, right, because this is all about jumping into another technology from one side or the other. If you're learning a new technology through the framework, there are a lot of things that you're just skipping, essentially. You're just ignoring completely because the framework is doing for you. And maybe the framework is even like giving you some syntactic sugar, or in other words, uh, it's giving you syntax that is not part of the language itself, but rather added by the framework to make things easier. Now, that, again, makes it faster for you to code, but um, it also makes it so that you write code that you don't really understand how it works. You don't really understand what ha what's happening behind the curtain when you write those lines, when that the code is being executed. You just know that it works. And um, maybe that's all you care, right? Because maybe that's at this point in your career, at this point in your learning process, you're just focused on getting results. And that's fantastic. Again, uh, if you go this route, you're able to showcase your expertise, your abilities to a potential employer much faster. You're able to showcase much more intricate things um, to a potential employer that you would if you were just going through the basics. The problem, again, with this is if you uh, get the job, let's say, uh, which is great, then uh, on your day-to-day, you might run into problems that are intrinsically resolved by using the basics that you skipped, you know? Maybe, uh, you know, once whatever project you're working on grows enough, which is usually the case for any job, um, the logic behind, you know, inside it, the, the logic inside the application, it's much more complex than whatever the framework can help you with. So in the end, you end up using and applying those fundamentals out of the language that you just skipped. Um, so by going the framework first route, you're opening the door to, at some point, not knowing how to solve problems, not knowing how to effectively um, rely on your knowledge instead of relying on the framework itself. The framework is there to help you get started, to help you solve, um, or not to help you not think about a lot of things, but it's not there to solve every single problem right? There is a lot of coding that has to happen outside of the framework's capabilities. And that is where the fundamentals come into play. Now, if we go, you know, don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm not saying framework first is wrong. I'm just trying to show you both sides of the coin at this point. Now, let's say the other way around. You, you go fundamentals first. You, instead of going to that uh, for that fancy new framework everyone's talking about, you just stick to the fundamentals. You learn, the, go through the basic tutorials of the language. You go through understanding the paradigm that the language is using, learn all the operations, all the syntax, and you start applying for jobs and you s start getting rejected simply because you're not able to show that you have the level that you know, the job requires simply because you don't have the understanding of, you know, the particular language or text stack that that job requires. You're going to spend a lot more time getting to the level of, well, uh, you know, saying that's great. Now I can go and, and learn a uh, the framework. Uh, you, it's going to take you longer to say I'm ready for a job. Uh, and actually, uh, if we think about it, I think it's going to also take you longer to trust yourself enough to feel ready for a job. And maybe you've been ready for a while, but just because you're creating very uh, basic examples, right, um, in comparison to what you can create with the framework, you might feel inadequate. You might feel like you don't have what it takes. But in reality, you're... Uh, you have you're you're essentially using all the basics that the framework itself is using. Uh, you just don't know the proper syntax of the framework. That's all you're missing. 
Um, so again, it might take you longer to get a job. It might take you longer to show everyone, um, you know, potential employers or, or anyone else that you have the knowledge. Uh, but on the upside, once you get to that point where you say, well, now let me just pick up the, the, the framework that you're using, you're going to be able to pick it up faster because, you know, the framework is simply an extension of the language. It's just wrapping concepts around. It's giving you new functionalities, giving you sometimes even new syntax to simplify the one that you were using. But uh, since you already know how it works, how everything works, you uh, be able to incorporate those concepts faster than if you had jumped into the framework itself uh, at first. So on the downside, it'll take you longer to get to be ready. On the upside, you'll be able to pick it up faster and then create even better things with the with the uh, framework itself. And you know, ex by extension, once you get to that point I was mentioning before, the um, your ability to problem solve through the fundamentals, through the and you know understanding of the language is going to be higher than if you had gone the other way. Um, so at this point, you can see that there is a, a, a very distinct um, initial set of results, right? If you go framework first, you will be marketable a lot faster, which means you might be able to get a job faster. Uh, but then on the long run, you might run into problems that um, you just, I'm not going to say you can't solve, but um, they will take you longer to solve. On the other hand, if you were, if you go fundamentals first, you'll have the knowledge required. It's just going to take you a lot longer to get a job and uh, to be able to showcase your abilities. But once you get there, once you get to that point, it's really hard to stop you. Let's put it that way. Now, I don't think either of those approaches are the right one. Granted, if you're in a hurry to get a job, then you're probably thinking, now nah, you know, I have to go from first. That's the only way. Um, and if you're not, right, if you're just getting started, if you have time, if you're, you know, like studying um, and, and learning the fundamentals, then maybe you're thinking, you know, I, I want to go fundamentals first and have everything and understand all the basics and then move, move on to the next step, which can also be like a, a dangerous path because what's, there's no point where you say, okay, I've learned enough now, um, uh, now I can go to that framework. There's no formal point. It's just you and your gut feeling. You know, whatever you feel, like, whenever you feel like you're ready, that's where you'll start. And some people, it's, you know, stay in the so-called tutorial hell uh, without moving forward because they don't fully feel like they're ready. So my recommendation here is, and from a, um, you know, job seeking perspective, and also trying to optimize the way in which you might uh, want to go about learning. My suggestion here would be pick a framework, learn the framework, and every time you um, learn a new feature of the framework, try to dig that deeper. Try to understand the concepts that that feature is using. So in, in other way, uh, it's, it's a mixture of both, essentially. It's just a way to pick fundamentals through the lens of the framework, you know? Um, because, again, the framework is just a wrapper around those fundamentals. So the, that way you'll be able to pick and you'll be able to learn something that will make you marketable faster. And at the same time, during that learning process, you're already digging deep into some of those fundamentals. It's not going to be the same as either it's going to take you a little bit longer than going framework first you know and, and knowing fundamentals but it's going to be much faster than going fundamentals first so it's kind of a middle ground that i think uh optimizes both the learning process and the job seeking process you know you'll be able to quickly say uh let's go back to web development i already know next enough to create something beautiful something useful so you can hire me but at the same time, while you were learning Next, you were already digging deep into the JavaScript language itself, into the 
decomposing variables into um, passing, uh, you know, values or references as attributes, trying to understand the mixture of, of functional programming and or what you're into programming or JavaScript. You were digging deep into those fundamentals at the same time as you were learning different features of Next. So when you get to the point of actually getting a job and actually working on a real product, you already have some of those tools needed. You also, uh, consequentially, you also have the, the knowledge and understanding of how to get that information that you don't have. You know, next time, uh, maybe you haven't gone through all the fundamentals, but by then you know how to learn about them. So it's going to be an easier process uh, for you to bump into a problem and actually find a solution for that problem. As opposed as if you had gone all the way framework and, you know, ignoring all fundamentals and then suddenly seeing a piece of syntax that you've never seen before because it wasn't needed by the framework and, you know, scratching your head, trying to figure out even how that thing's called. So essentially, you know, that's my suggestion. That's my, that's the approach I would suggest to go about if you're picking up a new technology or if you're just starting to, you know, learn programming. Uh, it doesn't have to, you don't have to be an experienced developer to go this route. I actually think that um, if you go a mixture of both, you know, putting an emphasis on fundamentals every time you dig deep, but also trying to move fast and uh, scan and, and try to understand all the functionalities of the framework you picked. It will give you a, an, an interesting speed of progress that is um, going to have a nice balance between being useful for a real world pro uh, project and at the same time understanding the tools that you have to uh, to solve the problems that you're going to meet. So that's it. That's today's episode, essentially. Fundamentals versus framework. If you go fundamentals, it will take you longer to be marketable. It will take you longer to have to find a job. But once you do, definitely you'll have all the tools required to pick up a new framework, any framework, and solve the problems that you have. If you go framework first, definitely you'll be marketable a lot faster. It's just that you're not going to have the tools required to actually solve real world problems once you face them, which let's be honest in any, you know, project in, in a shop that you uh, might find, you're going to face them. And finally, remember that mixture uh, of approaches of going framework first, but then digging deep into fundamentals once you learn a new feature, trying to understand how that feature works. So you actually learn both fundamentals and framework at the same time. It's going to take you a little bit longer, but it's going to give you the tools that you need to solve real world problems faster. Uh, and it's going to help you find a shop faster as well. That's it. Hope you find it useful and catch you on the next one as usual. And that was it for this episode of the Scripting Them Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. Remember that you can find me online on Twitter at deleteman123. And you can also find the podcast YouTube channel just searching for the Scripting Then on YouTube. Thank you again and I'll catch you on the next one.